Today, I would like to talk with you about satellite terminals and their major components and functions. Before we jump into the major components and functions, we should first talk about the three components of a satellite terminal subsystem. The ODU, or outdoor unit, refers to the set of antenna equipment that is placed outside of the building. The ODU typically includes a satellite dish, feed assembly, L and B, and block up converter. The IDU, or indoor unit, processes the receive and transmit signals from the satellite. Typically, the IDU will consist of a rack case with a modem for modulation and demodulation of a satellite signal. It may also contain an encoder and decoder for video signal transmission and reception. A power supply and laptop computer can control the terminal, and satellite pointing tools may also be integrated into the rack case. The IFL, or Interfacility Link Cable, is a cable system that is used to connect the outdoor unit and the indoor unit. IFLs are usually coaxial cable, but may also use other technologies including fiber optics and Ethernet. As you saw with the three components of the satellite terminal, there is more to them than meets the eye, and they can be used for many different applications. Now let's talk about the two types of satellite terminals. Portable satellite terminal is a satellite terminal that can be disassembled easily. Portable terminals range from 30 centimeters to 2.4 meters and use a tripod mounting system to support the unit. Fixed antennas are stationary and mounted to a king post or non-penetrating mast mount which can be weighted down securing the antenna. Now that you know about the two types of satellite terminals we can talk about the differences between the two categories of satellite terminals. An auto-acquired terminal is a fully motorized system and uses integrated pointing tools to acquire the satellite and peak the signal. The benefit of an auto-acquire system is that it is very quick to assemble and deploy. Assist-acquired terminals are manually pointed by the operator. Pointing tools to assist the user to acquire the satellite and peak the signal may consist of a GPS, compass, inclinometer, DVB receiver, narrowband power meter or receive the signal strength indicator, and a spectrum analyzer. The benefit of an assisted acquire system is that it is lighter and faster to deploy with an experienced user than an auto acquire terminal. As you can see, the two categories of satellite terminals are manual and automatic, but there are three physical adjustments you can make on your satellite terminal to lock onto the signal being sent from the satellite. The azimuth is the compass bearing relative to the true north. Compass bearings are measured clockwise in degrees from north. For azimuth adjustments, you typically loosen the main mount bracket and swing the dish in a circle, or for auto-acquire systems, the azimuth adjustment is motorized. Satellite terminals will receive and or transmit on horizontal, vertical, or circular polarization. Typically, rotation of the feed assembly will adjust the polarization to match the satellite's polarity. Elevation refers to the angle between the beam pointing direction and the local horizontal plane. For adjustment, the satellite terminal has an elevation rod, which allows you to move the reflector up and down on the vertical plane. Now that you have a little background on satellite terminals, we can now talk about the major components of the satellite terminal. The satellite terminal has an antenna reflector also known as the dish, which is made from aluminum, fiberglass, carbon fiber, or steel. The purpose of the antenna is to capture a signal from the specific satellite and send it through the feed assembly. The larger antenna you have, the more signal is reflected into the feed. The feed horn at the front end of the waveguide channels the incoming and outgoing signals from the antenna. Orthomode transducers serve either to combine or to separate two orthogonally polarized microwave signal paths. OMTs are often used with a feed assembly to isolate polarizations of a signal and to transfer, transmit and receive signals to different ports. The buck up converts the signal and the SSPA amplifies the signal from the modem that is directed to the satellite transponder. The LMB receives signal from the satellite collected by the dish, amplifies the signal, 
and down converts the block frequency to a lower intermediate frequency. The output of the LMB goes to the motor. The base unit has been designed for outdoor operation and contains major electronic components, such as computer, modem, power supply, and pointing tools. I hope you enjoyed our video on satellite terminals and their major functions. If you have any questions, require more information, or if you would like to purchase a satellite terminal, please contact our NORSAT sales team.